Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have a video that's for everyone. I know sometimes I do videos for beginners and some are a little more advanced, but today will be for everyone. I want to talk about what I think or what I absolutely know is the most underrated camera of all time. It's a camera that was made in 2012. It has 20 megapixels and it does a fantastic job. I've shot over 150 weddings with this particular camera. It's a 20 megapixel full frame 11 point autofocus system. The ISO goes from 100 to 25,600. Now I personally try to stay at 6,400 or less if I have to. I'll go on up over 12,000 but you might need to drop it in topaz if you do that to get rid of a little bit of grain because um, it is great in low light especially for its time, it's, it's just unbelievable in low light. When I first got this camera, I just could not believe what it would do in low light. It was like magic at the time. It was incredible because I'd been shooting with crop sensor cameras. And then this full frame beast comes along. But what makes this camera special? I tell you what, let's get in the video and we'll get going. The sensor in this video is the Digic 5, a fantastic color science sensor. If you're looking for amazingly beautiful pictures right out of the camera, this is it. If you're a beginner photographer and you're looking for a full frame camera, this is it. If you're an established photographer and you're looking for either a number one or a backup camera, this is your camera. The camera I'm talking about right now is the Canon 6D. It is absolutely a beast of a camera. It is made like a brick house. It's kind of comparable to the Canon 5D Mark III. And on the specs comparison, sometimes the 5D Mark III will win and then sometimes the 6D will win. Now I've shot with both of them. I prefer the Canon R6. Um, it's just a beautiful camera. If you put two batteries in the battery grip, like I have on here, the battery grip, you can get around 1200 shots before you have to change the batteries. And that's a lot of pictures. You can stick two batteries in your pocket and shoot all day long. I know the new mirrorless cameras, they eat through batteries like nobody's business. So this is not that way. You can just shoot and shoot and shoot with the batteries in this camera. And another thing about this camera is it takes the Canon EF lenses. So not only are the EF lenses cheaper right now because Canon's pushing the new RF line, but there are so many EF lenses on the market you can just get them such amazing deals. And then you've got the other brands like Sigma and Tamron, other brands that make cameras for this mount. So the lens choices you have for this camera, I didn't look this up before I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna say there's probably more lens choices for this camera than any other full frame camera on the market. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but I would be willing to bet that it is because you've got all the Canon EF lenses and you've got all the other brands, Sigma, Tamron, everybody that makes lenses for this camera. So you will have no shortage of buying lenses and you won't be paying an arm and a leg for them. I know the new Canon RF 24 to 70 F28, I believe is around $2,300. You can get a used 24 to 70 28 EF for this one. Um, I got one the other day for like 475. So that's an incredible bargain. And those lenses last too. The lenses are about as rugged as this camera. This camera also has about 13 stops of dynamic range. So in a minute, I'm gonna run a partial amount of a wedding that we shot. And we shot it with the Canon 6D. So I want you guys to see the color that comes out of this camera. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of adjusting to those pictures that you're gonna see, but I do shoot raw, so I did have to process them, so it's not technically straight out of the camera, because I don't shoot JPEG. I like to be in control of the editing. But if you were to shoot JPEG, I would take this camera up against any other camera on the market, JPEG straight out of the camera versus any other camera straight out of the camera. And I wouldn't worry that it's only 20 megapixels. My Canon R6 is only 20 megapixels. In fact, you know, I've been doing this for decades and I don't have a camera that has more than 20 megapixels. I am looking at the Lumix G9 Mark II. It has 25 megapixels, but it's a micro four thirds sensor. So it still won't compete with this Canon 6D. Now, when it comes to video, I wouldn't recommend this as a video camera. Somebody came up to me and said, is the Canon 6D great for video? I wouldn't say it's great for video, but if you get caught in a jam, it will do 1080p, 30 frames a second video. So it's not, it does have video. It does not have the flippy screen. It's, it was really designed for photography, but if you need some video 
Uh, maybe your uh, whatever you use for video went down, you can use this for some 1080p 30 frames a second video and it'll get the job done. I just wouldn't recommend it as a video camera. It's more of just a photography type camera. It was really Canon's answer to the Nikon D600. It compares a lot to the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, both are great cameras. It's just rugged as it can be. It's just absolutely a beautiful camera and it fits right in your hand, especially with that battery grip. I just love holding this camera. It just fits so perfect. Get shutter release right here. I can focus with this finger. The menu on the back, if you guys are using these new mirrorless cameras, you know how complicated and how many categories and subcategories that these mirrorless cameras have for their menu. This menu, if you've been doing photography for any amount of time at all, you'll have this menu figured out in five minutes. It's easy. It just goes across the top and straight down. There's no sub menus anywhere. It's very straight and to the point. Um, it's got the LED on top so that you can see that. I am a fan of having that on top because I like to be able to look down sometimes and see what I've got my settings are instead of having to go through the menu on the back. Um, that's one thing that I have the Lumix G9 original and it has the LED on top. I'm looking at buying the G9 Mark II and it doesn't have the LED on the top. So that, but anyway, that's about a different camera. <laughs> but anyhow, the Canon 6D, I, I have loved this camera. I've shot over 100 and probably over 150 weddings with it by now. And we have a wedding coming up in November that starts at six o'clock at night and goes till midnight. So it's gonna be dark. So we'll be doing some low light images and my wife mostly uses the 6D. I use the Canon R6. Sometimes I will say, let me grab the 6D because I may want it for a certain reason. There's, there's just a color science to this camera that really no other camera has. It just has the the best looking images you can possibly imagine. Now it's not as, you know, it doesn't have eye detection like the Canon R6 where somebody just walks by and grabs their eye. You do have your 11 point focus where you have to dial into the focus. Uh, it's not that complicated. Uh, once you get used to it, it's second nature, but it is absolute beast of a camera. And to prove that we were at the beach, uh, maybe a year, a little more than a year ago, and a rogue wave came in. I had my camera bag 20, 25 feet from as far as I could see the waves were coming in. Well, a wave came in anyway and crashed right over this thing and it has not missed a beat. It works fine. I don't know what the weather ceiling is or I don't even know if it has weather ceiling, but I know that it survived that ocean water and that's good enough for me. But yeah, you can take two batteries and shoot over 1200 shots. You put a few extra batteries in your pocket, you can shoot all day long. It is just a beast of a camera. And one other thing about this camera is the screen on the back. Now it's not a flippy screen, like I said, but the color that you see on the back of the screen when I'm shooting and I look at the image, I know that that is so accurate that that is basically what it's gonna look like on the computer when I'm done. And that's a big plus when you're shooting so that you, you can know, okay, boom, that's what I've got. It's gonna look 99% just like that looks once I get it in the computer. Not every camera menu, not every camera screen is like that, but the Canon 6D is. But the lens choice selection you're gonna have is just out of this world. The prices are out of this world. And you, the great thing about this Canon 6D is you can get one for under $400. I'm gonna show you exactly where you can get it right after I run this wedding slideshow that we shot with this camera that I want you guys to see. So I'm gonna run the slideshow right now. So check out these pictures and know that they all were shot with the Canon 6D. So let's roll it. Whenever I'm off to find a sunset flavor of a memory Whenever all the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone Wherever all my wishes may be heading A part of us will never
guys what did you think about those pictures i thought they were beautiful the bride and groom loved them uh, the color science is fantastic the quality that you can get out of this camera is just out of this world all those pictures were shot with mostly two lenses the canon 24 to 70 f2.8 and the sigma 24 to 105 f4 art series lens that was 99 percent of those pictures were done with those two lenses but this camera if there was a camera hall of fame, I would definitely expect to see the Canon 6D in this camera hall of fame. We need a hall of fame. Somebody needs to start a camera hall of fame. Let's do that. Somebody come up with that. Make us a website and let's have a vote and let's start putting cameras into the camera hall of fame. Unless there already is one that I don't know about. But anyway, sounds like a fun idea. Anyhow, moving along. I, you know, you guys know I like to ramble and have some fun. So just bear with me. But you can get this camera for under $400. And I'm going to show you where KEH is one of our affiliates. I've been using them since 1983. I've never had any issues with KEH. They've always been wonderful to deal with. Um, you've got 15 days if you don't like the camera to return it. You get a six month warranty included in your purchase, or you can add on a warranty if you want. So I highly recommend this Canon 6D. Like I said, if you're new, it's the best full frame for the money to switch over to. Um, if you're an advanced photographer and you're looking for a backup or maybe a you need a maybe you've got two or three guys shooting and put, put a 6D in their hand because you're going to get some great images. I like the color out of this more than I like the color out of my Canon R6. But anyway, you guys let me know if you have a Canon 6D if you've ever used it. But um, I'm going to run the uh, KEH now and KEH is an affiliate of ours. So if you do buy a 6D, uh, we get about 2%. Uh, nobody's paying me to make this video. Canon's not paying me to make the video. KEH isn't paying me to make the video. I'm just telling you guys what I know and love about this Canon 6D. I appreciate you guys watching and for helping you out. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and watch this ending video. You guys have a good day. Thanks. We're in KEH's showroom right now. As you can see, they have a lot of cameras in the showroom. Uh, KEH is a new affiliate of ours. And one thing I love about KEH is I have used them since 1983. That's a lot of years I've been using KEH. Never had an issue. I can't recommend any company higher than I can recommend KEH. In all those years, we've never had any issues. So if you need a camera or need to sell your gear, check out KEH.com and they'll do a good job for you. Y'all have a good day.